quickly into the new year and looking forward to bringing an exciting match for you and wishing you Happy New Year and I hope all your resolutions stay in place for many months ahead. This should be a special game, Alan. Yeah, Happy New Year, Martin. And uh, for these two teams, it's about starting the new year as they mean to go on. And the lineup for the home side goes like this. Looking at the lineup, he's got all the components in place, hasn't he? The manager for the pressing style of play has been a feature of his team. Yep, and uh, many an opponent has found it difficult to cope with. If your touch isn't spot on against this aggressive type of closing down, you're going to lose it in dangerous areas. This is how the visitors shape up. Well, it's 4-4-2 for them today, but we think the middle four might be a diamond, Alan. Yeah, and it gives them a bit of solidity in the middle of the park. And I think uh, the onus is on the full-backs to provide the width in this shape. Thank you. Enjoy the game. Here's the kickoff, and the game is underway. Green, Hope. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. Neatly intercepted. It does look, Alan, as though it is going to continue to be a one-horse race, but we shouldn't stop praising them because they've been excellent. Well, what I've been impressed with is the way that they've, they've kept the focus despite this big gap. They've not rested on the laurels and heading towards... And he could get away here. Well, what a start to the game that would have been for them, Alan. The first goal coming so early, but not quite. But well, he's kicking himself. He can't believe he's missed from so close in two. This is how they love to play on the break. And he scored! Well, what a lovely through ball that was, Martin. Perfectly weighted and beautifully finished. And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. Well, let's pause for a moment to let in Alan McAnally here with some goal news. It's a goal for the visitors. 15 minutes played, 1-0. Well, right on the spot there for that story, Alan McAnally, of course. Stopping the pass, getting through with a good piece of anticipation. Nicely lined up for the set-piece specialist here with this free kick. Well, the ref's given a foul here, and it's a bad one, yellow. Yeah, no surprise there at all. Was that just a case of mistiming the tackle? Didn't look comfortable going into it, and it was a definite foul. Well, the keeper knows. He knows he's got a shot to face here. That's a good idea with the pass. No way through for the shot, blocked. Tries the shot, not far away at all. Well, if they keep creating chances, I'm sure they'll take one. That was a decent effort, you know.
Goal nears from Northampton. It's a goal for Stevenage. 22 minutes played, 1-0. Eagle eyes, as always, from Alan McAnally. Keep his ball. Great interception. Chance for the keeper to kick it clear, and he takes that chance. A penalty at Bradford. It's a penalty for Morecambe. He's put the ball down on the spot. Can he score? Big chance. Strike. Yeah, he never looked like missing for me. Great penalty. 29 minutes played. 1-1. One, one. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. Delivered into the box. Hansen. Loses possession. A little surprised, the visitors with less possession here. But they won't mind that one bit because they've got their noses in front and uh, it's been a brilliant performance. So has to be. Brilliant defending. It saved a certain goal. He was almost wheeling away to celebrate there. Play on, says the referee. They've still got possession. Goal news from Plymouth. It's a goal for Swindon Town. 36 minutes played. 1-0. Well, many thanks. Alan McAnally keeping us up to date as usual. The referee has blown and he's given the free kick. Well, he's going to show the yellow card. That's good refereeing to go back to the original offence, having played the advantage. Yeah, you always felt that he would. It wasn't the best of challenges, that. Well, he's a long way out here, Martin. I can't believe he's going to actually try and shoot. Hansen to Davis. Whitehouse. This is a good opportunity to put the ball into the penalty area now. Saved by the keeper, but not decisively. Interception here. The fourth official has indicated there will be a minute. Sloppy work, really. Of added time. Made sure the pass wasn't completed. So it's 1 0 here as the half time whistle goes. Well, the player. But... Here's the kickoff. And here we go, the referee's blown his whistle, and we're off for the second half. Now they've got the ball, what are they going to do with it? We can go to Alan McAnally now for news of a goal from elsewhere. It's a second goal for the visitors. 49 minutes played, 2-0. Thank you very much, Alan. Trying to spot a potential ball to open them up. But they're keeping the ball well. Possession given away once more. Hansen. A real opening for him. Offside given, Allen. Oh, I'm not sure he's got that one right, you know. I think he was on. A penalty at Walsall. It's a penalty for Walsall. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. Big chance to score. Little step. Goalkeeper Fox straight down the middle. 56 minutes played. 2-0. Thanks, Alan. Well, we'll follow that with interest. Can the owner of the red hats back blocking the Trying to run off the shoulder of the last player offside. That is a weakness in his game. Gets caught offside too many times. Keep you right up to date during this match with what's going on elsewhere. And here's Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Exeter City. Clever ball. He's in on goal. Such a chance to put them further in front. Yeah, and you just wonder if they're going to live to regret that miss. Hello. 
Whitehouse. We had to come back here quickly, as you would understand. Sorry to Alan McAnally for that. Just to confirm, the visitors have scored, and the game is level at 1-1. The hosts had more than enough of the ball today, but you can see the manager down there is less than happy. Obviously, his team's losing, that's bad enough, but no real sign so far that they're going to get back into this because they're just not able to find a way through that defence and make the keeper work. With an interception. Alan McAnally wants to join us now. He's got a goal to tell us about. It's a third goal for the visitors. 66 minutes played. 3 0. Thanks, Alan. Curran. Well, he'll be hoping to celebrate this his birthday with the right kind of result. Well, that's what they've been looking for. The ball in behind. Whether the goalkeeper, I think we must give him credit. Alan, he really put him off, didn't he? Yeah, he split himself, made the goal look small, but even so, what a howler. Time ticking on. Just over 15 minutes to go. Now there is some space in the wide area. And that's into the gloves of the goalkeeper. Not the hardest thing he'll have to do today by any means. Keeping an eye on events elsewhere is Alan McAnally, as usual. Alan, what's happening in your game? It's a second goal for the home team. 76 minutes played. 2-1. Thank you very much, Alan. Here's the chance. Can't hang onto it, the keeper. Oh, these fans know not much time left to try and get an equaliser. It might be now or never. Chance to get the ball in the box. And the blocks the cross. Well, there was that attempt, Alan. Let's look back on it now. In goes the corner. Strong punch from the corner by the keeper. Four more minutes. Want to keep possession, that's the way they play, but they're not doing it. Return pass. And it's a shot now! And that will peter out, that attack. It's the goalkeeper's ball quite easily. The fourth official has indicated there will be a minimum of two minutes of added time. Slipping it through. So easy in possession. And it's come to an end here with the final whistle. So they've won again. That could